So we just arrived in Fairfax, California. We're at Miyoko's kitchen. Miyoko makes vegan cheese. Let's go in and uh, see what it's all about. Oh, and there's Miyoko. Hey, hey how's it going? Good to see you. Welcome to Miyoko's kitchen. Okay, well, we make an artisan vegan cheese here. We make all kinds of cheese uh, made out of nuts, and we ferment them, and then we age them. We've got a whole aging room over there that I'm going to take you on a tour of. We ship all over the country. Uh, we also distribute through traditional distributors to stores, so there will be some cheese. If you don't see it in your local store, it will be coming to you very soon. We're vegan, um, and we do it for, of course, for the animals and the planet. Great, so let's uh, let's check this out. Yeah, so this is where we uh, all the shipping happens, and we've got lots of boxes go out every single day to keep all the food. Oh, hey, we may have pizza today, too. We serve an employee lunch, and so here's bunch of pizza made with our uh, fresh mozzarella style cheese. If you'd like to grab a piece, please help yourself. And then, you know, we're gonna have to suit up. We gotta put the right. hair net on and the, all that kind of stuff before we go into the production facility. Cause I got the hair and the beard. We don't want that in the cheese. That's what I got. So what do we got? Ooh, I got a hair net. That's cute, isn't it? Yeah. Cool, you red. Like a clown. And you even get a beard. Ooh, I got a beard net, awesome. Yep. And then I got booties for you guys okay. too. How do I look? Is that good? Am I good? Okay, as you can see, we're all about fashion here. We want to make sure everybody looks good on the production floor. And that's why we got multiple different colors. Put these over your shoes. Oh, right? cool. Don't get me. We're, we're not going to perform surgery. Wait. We're just going to look at cheese, yeah. vegan okay. cheese. So we're walking in now to Yoko's kitchen. Station. So everything is sanitized here multiple times during the day. Yeah, we do all kinds of testing for uh, pathogens and things throughout the day. This is where we smoke our smoke farmhouse cheese. So they're actually, it's not smoke flavoring like a lot of cheeses, it's, it's actual smoke. Yeah, so we're washing them, they also get sanitized, and then they get, they, yeah, then we marinate them in this wine brine, which is wonderful. We wrap one of our cheeses in that. That's called the Fresh Loire Valley in a Fizzy. We've got a huge rack of smoked farmhouse cheese right here that's getting wheeled into the aging room, which is the most exciting room in the facility. So if you'll follow me. Well, welcome to the aging room at Miyoko's Kitchen. These are all kinds of cheeses that get aged for several weeks at a time. And we have flavors like aged English, sharp farmhouse, herbs de Provence, uh, rustic alpine, smoked farmhouse, Mount Vesuvius black ash, which is this funny thing that's coated in black ash. And we have a new food service size here in these nice large four pound rounds. Um, and they're in here for a matter of anything, anywhere from three to eight weeks or even longer, depending on the type of cheese and the style. And these are all cashew based? They're all cashew based at this time, yes. Do you plan on making any other cheeses that are not nut based in case people have allergies? That's nuts? a good question. Uh, yes, well, right now we buy con uh, container loads of cashews, so about 35,000 pounds of cashews at a time. So just in terms of economies of scale and purchasing power, we decided just to stick with cashew based cheeses at this time. But eventually, uh, we'd like to incorporate other styles of cheeses too. If you do have a cashew allergy or a nut allergy, you can try making your own cheeses out of things like rice or, or oats or soy. Um, and we do incorporate soy milk in one of our cheeses. This is Herbs de Provence, We're flipping the cheeses. And you do that once a week? Once a week. So we age up to about 18,000 units of cheese in here per month. And so we just have to keep, you know, we do it for a limited amount of time. We would like to age some of the cheeses for even longer to get a really, really hard consistency. The longer you age the cheese, the firmer, harder, more sliceable it becomes. So eventually, we want to start aging cheeses for six months to a year so we can get something like a Parmesan-style consistency. What is the importance of aging these cheeses? Aging cheeses allows them to achieve a firmer consistency. So if you were to make a dairy cheese, let's say a cheddar, on day three or seven, it would be really, really soft. The only way it gets hard is by aging, which develops not only flavor, uh, but a consistency in terms of texture. 
Have you perfected a, a sharp cheese? Yeah, we have a cheese called H English Smoked Farmhouse, which is like a sharp cheddar. Uh, it's got a really low pH, which means that it's really tangy or sharp in flavor. It's got lots of uh, it's very, very robust cheese. What would you say the, the cheese is that takes the longest to make that you have? The cheese that takes the longest, I would probably the sharp farmhouse is the one that ages the longest. Uh, ideally, you want to age that one for about three months. We have limited time and capacity here, so we have to kind of move it along in about five or six weeks. Okay, and do you have a favorite here? Oh, I love the Mount Vesuvius Black Ash. That's one of my favorites. And that's sitting right here behind that's us. Right. And where do you get the black ash from? Uh, well, actually not from Mount Vesuvius. <laughs> okay, that's my other question. <laughs> no, we get the ash from, it's, it's a vegetable ash made in France. Now other vegan cheeses have like artificial um, preservatives, additives, chemicals. Can you tell flavors. us a little, flavors, can yeah. you tell us a little bit about what you use in your cheese or what you don't use? Okay, our cheeses are extremely pure. They're made just from fresh organic cashews uh, and a culture, which is what we that ferments the cheese, and it's the culture from which the cheeses derive all their flavors. So it's how we process the cheese, the cashews, with just a very few simple whole foods, and the added cultures and the aging that creates this huge depth and breadth of flavors and textures. We get to taste the cheeses. Okay, this is the Mount Vesuvius black ash that they're wrapping right now. And we're actually going to be getting a, uh, we're hand wrapping right now, but we're going to be moving to a vacuum pack system very shortly. We're getting a big machine in here that'll wrap thousands of these every hour. It's a very zombie-like cheese. It, it is, a black ash. Yeah. And look, it's, it's putting on there. So this is a non-Vesuvius black ash. Look at that. For all of you that haven't had nice cheese, you've been vegan for so long and you've been missing it, here it is. Oh. And it's delicious. I don't have any black ash on my face, do I? Okay. So there's something called standards of identity, and we're not allowed to use the word cheese in the state of California. So we called it a cultured nut product because, hey, we're kind of cultured nuts ourselves. When she comes up with these um, names that would lead you to believe it was like a, a cheesy yeah, kind well, of like, thing. Yeah, like the sharp farmhouse. Right. Kind of right. gives you that feeling that it's a cheese, but it's not. And um, that's, that's great. I like the names you came up with there. It really works. I'm really excited for this one, the mozzarella. This is the fresh mozzarella. Mm. Take it out. And we just had this on the pizza, right? Just, we just had it on pizza. It melts beautifully, but it's also delicious cold. Mm. You guys, can you order the mozzarella as well? You can order the mozzarella as well. And you know what? All of our cheeses taste better when you have a red hair net on. Oh, I forgot I have this red hair net on. <laughs> Silly me. So that definitely works good on pizza and... Yeah, it melts, melts could, and browns beautifully. And it's delicious in a caprese salad or... 2016, it'll be coming to a store near you. This was our day at Miyoko's Kitchen, learning how she makes delicious vegan cheeses. And if you haven't tried it yet, definitely check it out. Where can people find your cheese? Uh, you can find it online at miyokoskitchen.com or in a natural food store near you. It was really great having you here. Yeah, thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. It was uh, nice seeing the factory. I can't wait to make some pizza and other things with this. Come back with John next time, okay? Definitely. All right, All right take care. Okay, take care. See you later, Chris. Yep. Oh, hey! Oh, forget it. Just keep the hair in it. How does coconut cream work in place of cashew cream? Coconut cream has a very distinct This is a, a fun work atmosphere. Yeah. Are you hired? I am. Are you ready to move out here and work for us? Okay. 